Hi, Leo. Welcome to Mind Forward. I am Anna. We're going to take a look at the mid-August energies for your sign. Um, last reading for the beginning of August, we had some good energies. I felt like you were advancing and moving forward. Um, it was something that was well-deserved and long coming. So let's see how those energies are playing out now in the middle of the month. Okay. At your center energies, we've got the 10 of scrolls, which is the 10 of swords. Seven of Pentacles is crossing you, okay? The Two of Stones is at your foundation, Two of Pentacles. Two of Scrolls is Two of Swords in your past. Wow. Two of Spirals. We just got a two, two, two. What are the odds? Two of stones, two of scrolls, and two of spirals. Uh, two of wands, that is, by the way. Wow. And phoenix, the judgment card. The phoenix rising is your near outcome. Phoenix rising, that reminds me of um, August, early August energies where you were floating above. Okay? So let's take a look at these and see what is with all the twos. This is crazy. Okay. Um, the tiger is saying a tiger can change his stripes. <laughs> Just like a leopard can change his spots, I guess. Um, a tiger can change his stripes. So to me, I'm feeling that stripes are the things that have wounded you. You can change them. You can change them. How do you change them? There's only one way to transform these stripes, which are lashes by the whip. Um, how do you change that situation, what you have been through, all that you have gone through into something different? In fact, into something beautiful. Okay, you. it's only, there's only one way to do it. It's hindsight. It's hindsight. You have to come up out of the lashes, the 40 lashes, the wounded period. And you do that by healing, but how do you heal? You surrender to the idea. And you say, you know, that sucked. But what it taught me, and now that I'm out the other side of it, I can see what a beautiful thing it led me to. Look how much better I am now than what I was back then. Wounding, you guys, I'm sorry, but it builds character. It builds character. See, the word I'm getting here is substance. You have become a more substantial person. I can't believe the symbology here. If you were lashed, 40 lashes like Jesus, okay, there were big chunks, I'm sorry, taken out of your skin. Big chunks were taken out of your skin. Now, out of your character, out of your costume, you are such a more substantial person now. Okay, I see you as um, carrying so much more weight. Okay, do you know what that means? That means influence. Leo. I love this language for you because it just resonates with who you are, with your character, the character of Leo. Okay, they always say Leo's the one who would be on the stage if they could be. This is giving so much more influence to your character. Your character is becoming so much more substantial. It's like you're taking the lead role. Seven of stones, crossing or supporting you. Okay. Okay. So in this new position, in this new character of substance, there's some work to do. Okay. Look at her though. I love this depiction of the seven of pentacles because she's on the river and she's floating again. It's like she's going to surrender. Let it all go and let the river move her. She's going with the flow when you go against the grain is when you get scratched. 
when you go against the grain, that whole time that you were being wounded, you were actually going against your destiny, against your destination. You were on the wrong path. And that's why you suffered the lashes, the wounds, the scraping, the scratching. Oh my goodness. Okay, you are learning that you know you have more work to do on this earth, okay? Good. This time, though, you're going to surrender the fight. You're going to stop fighting against the grain. You're going to allow your spirit to lead you. And in that, you will float gently down the river, floating above in the waters above, just like your August reading at the beginning of the month. Mid-month, this story continues. Surrender to it when you lay down and stop struggling is when you're going to float. If you fight against it, you're going to sink. Two of Pentacles is in your foundation. Okay. I, I'm getting a very general idea in this, in that um, the whole purpose of this reality is to juggle the energies, balance the energies, the typical two of pentacles card, to balance, okay? And in the two of pentacles, he's got the waters behind him, Okay, and they're kind of raging and very wavy back there. And he's sitting here trying to get his balance. Okay, that's what we're learning to do in this flow of water. There's waters coming down from above, if you want to watch my um, channel, and waters opening up from the deep, as in Noah's flood. Okay, we are learning how to navigate these waters. It's always been a balancing act. We're l simply learning how to stand on two feet in these rocky waters. How do you do it? Get off your feet, lay on your back, and float. Okay, the foundation has always been that. So this is what I'm seeing in this new creature. I'm seeing a new creature. You are becoming a new creature. Um, no longer bipedal. In, over, in order to hover over the waters, okay? I feel like you need wings. This is like a totally new character for you. Okay? Two feet aren't going to do it. You've got to unite and gain a tail. So you can swim through the waters like a merman, mermaid. Two of scrolls. Well... I like this because this Pegasus unicorn is leaning heavily on one scroll. The scroll, the swords, the scroll of the waters above, the higher level is what I want to say here. Okay? It, 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 the spirit is saying you took the high road. You took the high road. You took the high road despite the wounding. That's huge because most people, when they are feeling um, lashed and whipped and wounded, they take the victim route. Sorry, but that's what it is. They play the victim role. You took the high road, the lead role. That's what you did. Wow, Leo, strong, 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 strong strength person. Two of wands. <laughs> How many times do we want to, want to drive this home? Um, um, Okay, so the Two of Wands is usually my Christopher Columbus card because he's holding the whole world in his hands. So 
the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. I like that because it's different. It's not that he's holding the world in his hands. He's going to a different world, the sky. He's moving up to the sky, floating above you guys. How ironic that this is what that bird is representing to me. That's in the focus of your mind, okay? So stay focused. You're perfectly focused where you should be. And then the near outcome. Well, those um, lashes have turned into beautiful colors, okay? When the wound heals over, you regenerate a skin that's pink in nature. I feel like this is representing all of your bruises, healing over and becoming this multifaceted, multicolored character, this costume, this lead character. You can do it all in the play. We've had this idea before on this channel. So it is only like the producer of the play who knows how to play all the roles, who knows the line of each character. That's you. You're not only the lead in the play, it's like you're the producer director of the play. That's where you're moving up to. This gives you so much power. You are no longer a victim of circumstance. You are no longer a victim of circumstance. That's it. That's the message. That's the message. You have turned it into a beautiful coat of many colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous, Leo, gorgeous. My God. Spirit is really <laughs> in your favor the past several months, okay? So this is a great time for you to shine. Right away, it's this one. Throat chakra. Hello, um, character in the play. So you need to speak your lines loudly and clearly. Um, I feel because you are so advanced, I'm sorry if you can hear the garbage truck outside. Um, if you are the producer and director of the play now, it's time for you to start speaking loudly and clearly. It's time for you to speak your story, your play. What has your playwright. What have you been writing? Producer, director, what have you been writing in your play? I feel like it's time to present it on stage, Leo. It's time to get the word out. Your word, your story. So think about it. Think about it. Open the throat chakra. Don't think too hard about it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. If it's meant to be, which I think it is, it, it will come forth. It, you're, uh, an avenue is going to come to you in order to make this possible. In order, you're the lead character. Okay, this, this, sing it loudly and sing it proudly. Whatever it is, okay? Beautiful. Thank you, Leo. I love the energies for August for you. Come back in a couple of weeks. We'll have your September energies. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you then.